What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog, welcome to Puerto Escondido. And in today's video, we are talking my six must do things here in Puerto. And oh, it took a little bit of work. I think there's a lot of cool stuff and cool content in this video, but I realized that maybe you aren't all interested in all of the things I'm gonna do. Maybe you're only interested in like the beach suggestions, maybe you're just interested in the whales, maybe it's just the food. So I'm gonna put some time codes right here. And these time codes are where each of those are each of those activities are. So feel free to absorb that for a second. Even if you're only interested in the beach suggestions or the food suggestions, you should watch the whole video because there's just a lot of cool stuff here and I am super pumped about this video. But now you have the time codes, now we have done the intro, so let's get going. Here are my six must do things if you ever come to Puerto Escondido. Good. Yeah. Good, you're good. Get up early and go whale watching. For us, always the front of the boat, doesn't matter which way we move, means 12 o'clock. Okay. So between the months of November and April, it is whale watching season. And they have three different kinds of whales that come through Puerto Escondido. It is orcas, it is sardine whales, and it is humpback whales. Today we are going out to see some humpback whales and hopefully see some dolphins as well. And the best part about this whole thing is that coming whale watching only costs like 20 bucks, which is amazing. right now and we're just starting to like look for some stuff and we saw a turtle and we saw a little bird actually even sitting on top of the turtle and the bird I guess was taking a rest while the turtle got some air. Super cool! Oh over there too! are currently sitting in like a huge like school of is that what you call it? like a group of dolphins it's like a school a pod a pod of dolphins we're a huge pod of spinner dolphins and spinner dolphins are super fun but as the name entails they jump out of the water and they spin which is super cool it is crazy how many dolphins are around us right now like i'm not even exaggerating it's probably like over several thousand dolphins and if you're lucky might even get a captain that will let you jump in with them. Guys, let's talk beaches. In Puerto, there are a handful of beaches. There's Manzanilla, La Punta, Baracocho, Zicatela, and Carasalia, just to name a few. And the one that I think is by far the best is the one right behind me here called Carasalia, or as many people call it, Quesadilla, because they just can't pronounce Carasalia. And this beach, I think, is the best for a handful of reasons. One, it's a little bit smaller, a little less people. Two, it's a great place to learn how to surf. And three, I mean, it's just the prettiest, by far, I think. And for reference, this is a map of Puerto Escondido. This is where the Zicatella Beach is, which is kind of like the main strip. And then this is where Playa Carasalia is. It's a little bit farther away, a little bit harder to get to, but let me tell you, it is 100% worth it. And that's because, as like I said, it's just the prettiest beach. The water here is crystal clear blue, and you can just spend all day here and not feel like you're 
kind of packed in like sardines and like a bunch of tourists because it's a smaller beach. So that is my recommendation. If you ever come to Puerto, you have to come to Playa Queresalia. Quick salsa update. We are currently on recipe, I think three, no, 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 four, maybe even five. Four or five. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch previous videos. The gist is though, we're making a secret salsa recipe this month. So far, it's going really, really well. Tough to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of food, I have two recommendations for you if you ever come to Puerto Escondido. Stage and I, we love, love a good spicy margarita. In fact, good cocktails in general, and uh, we had just about given up on finding a good spicy margarita here. And then we found this place, and this is kind of a play on words. It's called Mare and Juana, and it's this really cool kind of treehouse, relaxing, jungle vibes restaurant that serves amazing cocktails and definitely checks the box for a good spicy margarita. And in addition to good drinks, they also have good food here. They have two options and it's kind of like, almost like a food truck-esque type setup where you just walk up and one booth serves tacos, one booth serves uh, burgers. I've had both and they are both delicious as well. So if you're looking for a good spicy margarita or cocktails in general, definitely check out Mare and Juana. So that is recommendation number one for food. Cheers. Being the recovering taco addict that I am, I couldn't come all the way to Mexico and not give you guys a taco recommendation. So here it is, it's Pepe's Tacos in La Punta. Now the thing about Pepe's is it's not a place you're gonna find easily. It's down this really small dirt road in this unassuming location and to be honest, I spent half an hour yesterday looking for it and I couldn't even find it. And I'd been there before, but there was a good reason I couldn't find it. This is Pepe's Tacos. It's gone. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. And you can see all like the palm tree debris back here. But yeah, they've completely torn down Pepe's in like the last week, apparently. Which is a shame because the tacos there were crispy, they were big, juicy, delicious. They were cooked in this like coconut oil concoction. Whew. Oh, they were good. But you might be wondering, Justin, why are you telling me about a taco place that no longer exists? Well, the good news is, Pepe's is coming back. They're making a new location only a few blocks from their old location, and there's a good chance that when you're in Puerto, they might be open, they might exist. The only downside to Pepe's is that they take forever. It's like 45 minutes to get a taco. So if you're in a rush, it ain't the place to go. But I have a couple other recommendations. One is Coco's, which does like a similar style taco to Pepe's. And then there is Pincho's Tacos, and they're kind of like a chain, and they're like three or four locations in Puerto, and they do like good, cheap, and uh, delicious tacos as well. So those are my three recommendations for tacos in Puerto Escondido. Alright, this next tip is probably one of my favorites and it is to go to Playa Bacocho and to release sea turtles. <sighs> okay, we've been having a debate on what we're going to name our turtle. Stasia, what would you like to name our turtle? Tony. Tony? Okay. I like Tony. I think Tony is a good name. So it's a strong name. Survivor. He's survivor, yes. He's a survivor. Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony the turtle. I think that's a good name. I like Tony. It has to be a T name. It has to be like Trent the turtle, Tony the turtle, uh, Tequila. Tequila. Tequila the turtle. He'd have a fun time. Tequila okay. the turtle. He's Tequila the life, might not. He's the life of the party. Survive though. <laughs> Uh, so the turtle releasing here, it's not always in season. I think it's only like from November, December to sometime like March, April. Uh, so if you're here during the season, you 100% have to do it. But I'm not sure if it's like an every, all the time type of activity. But we're super excited. <laughs> Little turtle, Tony. Tony, how you doing, buddy? Tony's, Tony's a little sleepy, like his mama. <laughs> All right, Tony, you're on the sand. Come on, it's your big moment. Oh my 
gosh, our little... Our little guy. As you can see, our little guy, Tony, here is taking his time getting into the water. He's a fighter. He's saving his energy. Oh, it's going to be a big, oh. big haul down to the water there. <laughs> um, uh, but the way this works is that we release them, and then once we release them, we're not really supposed to touch them because we have like bacteria and things in our hands that aren't suitable for a baby turtle. So we release them, then we wait a big wave to come and wash them away into the ocean. Woo. A big wave just like that one right there. And then once they're out into the ocean, they face one big challenge, and that's getting past all the seagulls here, because the seagulls want to eat the baby turtles. And it's a little bit sad, but only one in a thousand turtles, one in a thousand makes it to adulthood. I like to think that we're playing our little part here and helping a little, maybe, maybe more than one in a thousand survive. But yeah, first things first, they gotta make it in the ocean here. So come on, Tony! Sayonara. Oh, Tony! Tony! <laughs> Proud parents. I didn't Good think luck, Tony. <laughs> he was just waiting for the right wave, and you know what? Hope you see us someday. Oh my God. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> All right, guys, we are down to our last and final suggestion for you guys in Puerto, and it is a sunset recommendation. Now, to be honest, you really can't go wrong with any of the sunsets anywhere in Puerto Escondido because they're all amazing, but if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more than a sunset, my suggestion is to come down to La Punta. And the reason is, this behind me, the volleyball game. Every single evening, starting at around 5 o'clock until just a little bit past sunset, there's a volleyball game that goes on here, and you're not going to find this on like the TripAdvisors or any of the travel sites, because this is something that only the locals or people who have been traveling and been here a while will know about, and it's so much fun, and it's pretty casual. Sometimes people take it maybe a little bit too seriously, but anybody can really join, and like I said, it's just fun, and it's also allowed me to make friends while I'm here, because you see the same people every single day, so if you're a long-time traveler, you know the benefit of being able to make friends quickly and volleyball allows you to do that so yeah, I really enjoy it. Now if you don't want to play volleyball that is totally okay because like I said the sunsets in Puerto Escondido are always amazing but one of the benefits about coming down to La Punta is that there are tons of restaurants here so if you wanted to watch the sunset maybe play a little volleyball after the sun goes down you can go ahead and get a bite at one of the places to eat around here which is great. That is my suggestion come down to La Punta to watch the sunset. All right, guys, if you made it this far, congratulations. Thank you for sticking around. But those are my six must-do things in Puerto Escondido. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button because I have a ton of cool stuff coming up from both Puerto Escondido and Mexico and future places that I can't wait to share with you. Um, but that is it. The show is over. The vlog, it is done. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, shit.